close your eyes, let the mind settle down, try to stay focused right on the breath. Breath comes in, you know it's coming in, you know it's going out. That's all you have to think about. You can let go of everything else, the sound of the birds, the temperature of the air, your plans for after you leave here, what happened before you came. Just put everything aside. Just be right here with the breath coming in going out. Because when the mind leaps out after those other things, it's like a flame of a fire going out. And the more flames you have in the mind, of course, the hotter it's going to be. We think about how hot the sun is today, how hot the air is today, but think about your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and body. Those are hot because of greed, aversion, and delusion. Your mind is, hung, is hot because of greed, aversion, and delusion. It's like having six suns right inside you, all just pouring out their heat. So you may not be able to do much about the temperature outside, but you can lower the temperature inside. Sights come by the, by the eyes, you just, just notice them and let them go. Sounds come, whether they're good or bad, just notice them and let them go. You get out of the line of fire and you're not leaping out after them to mark them with your flame. This way the mind cools down. When the mind is still like this, it can be really cool. It's like the difference between walking out in the sun and then coming in and sitting in a nice shady spot. You cool down. There's a nice breeze, the breath coming in, the breath going out. And try to keep the mind as cool and as still as possible. And you begin to realize that the real heat that you're suffering from is not the physical heat outside, it's the heat of your own defilements. You've got to do something about that. Otherwise, it just keep burning and burning and burning away. We're fortunate that we can survive this, but our goodness doesn't survive. Our goodness gets all burned up. We try to say good things, but we just don't have the energy to say them. We try to think good things and speak good and, and do good things, but just, just don't have the energy because all our energy is burned up. So try to keep the mind as cool as possible. So if something really needs to be done, okay, you have the strength to do it. We've been talking the past couple of weeks about what the Buddha taught us, the five strengths, the strength of conviction, persistence, mindfulness, concentration, and discernment. These are the things that keep the mind strong. And how do you protect them? Well, you, you have to protect them from these fires, okay? And you have what the Buddha calls the, the cool fire of jhana, that's right concentration. The word jhana comes from the verb jayati, it's a very steady flame. He says it's a cool fire. It's like the phosphorus fire that you see sometimes out in the ocean, or lightning bug fire. That's, there's light, but there's no heat. That's what you want here. You want the light of the mind that's really focused, but without the heat of all the leaping around. So this is one way that you cool the mind down, is by bringing it into concentration, giving it a good, settled, good solid place to stay. And that way, regardless of how hot or cold the world is, you can be cool inside. Because even when it's cold outside in the world, everybody's hot with their defilements. And then we pick up the fire from them and we spread it to other, other people. No wonder the, the world is such a mess right now. So try to cool things down inside. Get the mind to settle down so that when sights come, you don't burn them with your greed, aversion, and delusion. When sounds come, you don't burn them with your greed, aversion, and delusion. You don't burn yourself with your greed, aversion, and delusion. That way the mind settles down and can be cool. And when it's cool, then it's then it can be at its ease. So this is where the, the your real inner air conditioning is the much more important than outer air conditioning, because the outer stuff, as we all know, someday the, the next, there's not going to be electricity. What are you going to do then? You've got to cool down inside. So try to develop that skill while you can, because it's an important skill you're going to need throughout life.